What's going on guys? Today we're going to do a quick little video on how to disassemble these uh, galleys. Pretty sure, I know this is a lot of Coleman's. Not exactly sure what other models are in. But it's the chain type drawdown galley. And we're going to go ahead and show you how to disassemble this. So first, uh, there's these covers. We already took them off. It's easy I'm doing these two screws on the side. And then each side has a tensioner. Uh, what I did is I took a picture where I could distinguish each side so I can tighten it down to the same um, tension as it was before. So once you get those down, this chain is pretty loose. I'm going to take this bolt off and it should pop out of this gear. Um, you could probably just do this bolt and this, but trying to keep all this, all these components together. So, yeah, we're going to do this. Repeat it on the other side, and then we should be good. So, I changed my mind after looking at it. Um, if you just take this off and this, there's a big washer. And then you got to be careful because there's a small spacer on the bottom. But after that pretty loose um, it goes up and down in there but that's what that bolt does so I'm gonna do that to the other side all right so once those were off um, it's just a matter of pulling it off this fairly simple and then you should just be able to take off yeah you can just take off the sprocket and you can take off the galley so that was what we're gonna accomplish for today took all everything off to paint it gonna paint this all right it's a couple days later um, the reason we took that off is to paint it so we have that painted and we're gonna actually show you how to reinstall it um, some I didn't show is we actually took these brackets off which is for the bottom part of it and painted those black as well word of advice um, and I don't know how you can get past this but this side these actually the old screws um, or bolts have nuts on the back of them so I ended up drilling out the holes a little bit bigger getting some bigger screws that I had and that thing's that thing's on there that thing's actually stronger than it was before this one you can get to underneath there, not a problem. Um, I put nuts on that one, even though it's strong. So, just a word of advice. Um, next, I'm going to show you what we're doing with the chain, and then we're going to start putting everything together. So, for the chains, what we're going to do, we're going to use starter body and air intake cleaner uh, in the middle of moving, so I don't have any like brake cleaner or any other solvents. Um, I'm going to spray this down. And then chain and cable lubricant, and this stuff actually gets into the into the links, um, and it, it doesn't attract dust. Like you can see, this one is is pretty stiff. This one is loose, um, and I'd rather it be like this than like this. So I'm gonna get to cleaning, lube it up, and we'll take them back inside. I got this, um, trying to find something, like I said, we're in the middle of moving, I'm trying to find something that I can actually set this in and soak it because it is pretty bad. Um, I'm going to keep spraying it. This stuff's pretty expensive. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it, but it's what I have, so I'm going to keep soaking it and see if we can loosen it up. I was using uh, kind of a little screwdriver, and once you start working these links, there's a bunch of gunk in here. So I, I would imagine that after we do this, the galley's going to be way easier to uh, lift up and put down. All 
All right. So as you can tell, way better. Took a little bit of time. Um, I would definitely recommend if you are using something like this, wear gloves and eye, eye protection um, and some type of respirator or something. Um, don't do like I did. Okay, and next, I'm gonna take the chain lube, spray it down, and then we're gonna start putting this thing back together. way too much. <laughs> I'll probably use way too much lubrication, but it'll be okay. Um, again, this stuff is made so it doesn't attract dirt or anything like that. much but we'll be okay all right i'm gonna get cleaned up and we'll start putting all the stuff back together so i saved all the hardware in this baggie because i'm really bad about losing stuff um we have the two washers hopefully you can see this the two high bolts um that put tension on it two spacers and four nuts I went ahead and kind of wiped them down with the towel a little bit. Um, this is where it's going to get a little tricky. So, right, I'll show you what I had to do. So these sprockets, um, they have little, I'm not sure what you call them, locating pins, I guess, on them. And you got to make sure, so you can see that, that they line up. Um, they have about the same amount of slack on each side, so I'm going to go ahead and do that to the other side, and then we'll go to the next step. All right, both of them are on. You can see, another thing I found that you'll want to pay attention to, the top uh, sprockets are actually longer. So I had a mixed switch around. This is on the bottom. You won't be able to get a nut on there. So the bigger one goes on the top, the skinnier one on the bottom. All right, let's get on to the next step. All right, so for these uh, eye bolts, you're gonna put the spacer on there, and the eye bolt goes around there, and your washer, finally, your lock nut. All right, I'm gonna do the exact same to the other side. Spacer, eye bolt, washer to keep everything together. And then your uh, locking, locking nut. I'm going to go ahead, not to bore you with this, but I'm going to go ahead and tighten this down. Okay, so probably be easier with two people, but I'm going to just do this by myself. I'm gonna get that side started. That in. And I'm gonna kind of work that one on. There we go. What I'm gonna do actually. Like I said, it's been a couple days. Four, maybe. We're in the middle of moving. So, kind of for you guys. I'm going to take this nut off real quick and easy. See that up in there. And then just put it back together. Deal. A couple seconds, but like I say, at least this way, you 
you guys will have to go through the trouble figuring it out. There we go. All that we have left are the two that's on the top. And what we did is we we lightly sanded this thing. Um, and I did I think three three coats of gloss black just because we got a little messed up in the garage. I did a third coat and then two coats of clear uh, enamel. It came out pretty good. A lot better than it was. Just taking that, that top screw out, which goes to the cover. I'll put that on in a minute. better tools. All right, everything's tightened up. Um, all we have left is the tension. So what I did is I took pictures where you could distinguish each side, um, where you could clearly see the threads. And I'm going to tighten it back up to that. I don't know if you can see, but Actually, before, well, I guess it does a little bit, but she seems to move way better. Now, last but not least, we have the covers. Took everything off, painted it black. Looks way better than that ugly tan, which is here. And we're gonna paint this. But um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and install this. Just a couple screws on each side, and that is how you take apart and put back together your galley. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully this was helpful. I know there are a lot of pop-ups out there. And in the future, we're probably taking this whole thing away. But um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Watch my other ones. We're in the process of turning this into the bounty hunter. More of that to come soon. Thanks, guys.